I'm really, really happy because someone actually, like, gave a suggestion for something that I should do. So for them, I'm going to do it. Okay, Alfie, praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving us a suggestion. It's exactly what I wanted. And I am going to be doing a top five ranking of my favourite dinosaurs in the TV show, Planet Dinosaur. That was narrated by John Hurt, who unfortunately passed away a couple of years back. Made in 2011. I grew up with it. It's it's basically my childhood. So I'm going to rank my top five favourite dinosaurs in that series. So I'm just going to get right into it. My top five. My number five. The first one in the list is Argentinosaurus. I find it a very unique dinosaur in the way that it both becomes like a tiny little one ton baby to an 80 ton colossus. I think it's an absolutely incredible transformation. And the fact that it only takes about 10 years for them to try and bulk up and eat as much as they can. I think it's an incredible start. 75,000 75, kilos it was worth of pure weight and fat. And at the end, with the time lapse of when it's been eaten by the Mapusaurus and the scavengers, I find that to be a very, very cool part of the show as well, where it just fades off as soon as all the skeleton and bones gone away, which lasted for nights and nights worth of food for them to all eat together. There must have been about eight of them or something eating just one body at a single time. It's absolutely incredible that something like that once actually existed in Argentina. And it shows that that recent uh, recent times they've been managing to contribute to the amount of dinosaurs that have been found fascinated by other people, and they managed to contribute with got both Gankula, Mapusaurus, Scavenger, and and Argentinosaurus itself. Number four is Rugops, the Scavenger, an eight meter eight meter long Scavenger that was featured in the Lost World episode, where it is seen. Trying to stealing parts of an Oncopristus that had been hunted down by a Spinosaurus by using its detectors on its snout, but just like a crocodile, and managing to strike without even managing to see the fish and just grabbing it with its claws, putting it in, and then just eating it, scratching it, and eating parts of it. But obviously, since it didn't manage to eat the whole thing, the Rugops comes to its advantage and manages to go over and scavenge the food. Just need a quick drink. I'm getting proper tired from this. Need to manage it to see a lot. Put that back. So, for my number three in this list, Microraptor. Microraptor is a very unique character, both in the way that it actually is an Asian dinosaur, which isn't featured too often in Planet Dinosaur but also just genuinely the fact that it managed to glide through the trees by using by doing swooping techniques by going swooping then stopping at a tree then managing to take flight and swoop to the next one i find it very unique that it was managed to be chased off by a cyanothosaurus but despite the fact that it unfortunately had the disadvantage when it came to being on the ground because it could only jump up because it couldn't actually walk and the sign on if a source had absolutely no problem with doing so. I find it like a very unique dinosaur with the fact that it's both got feathers on its arms, which it would use for flight, and the fact that they had them on their tail and on their legs to balance themselves out and manage to create a perfect gliding technique. I find it very incredible that there was a dinosaur who could glide just like that. At number two, it's pretty obvious who it is going to be. Wait for it. Gigantoraptor. This might actually be quite surprising, but I love Gigantoraptor in it, mainly because it's in Mongolia, and Mongolia is one of my favourite countries in the world, but also the fact because I like desert, desert areas, I find that to be very, very cool to be featured in the air. Uh, and the fact that it manages to just kill the Ornithalestes so easily. Like, literally, it's, like, not even, like, a fifth of its size. And it's crazy when they do the displays and stuff, where they've got the feathers on the underneath their arms and stuff, and they start swooping themselves about. I find that to be a very, very incredible feature and aspect, which is why I put Gigantoraptor at number two. And my number one pick 
for my favourite dinosaur in Planet Dinosaur, the series. It's been my favourite dinosaur for a very, very long time since back in primary school. And I used to manage to say it when all the other kids couldn't even say it's simple words like Among Us or something like that. Who knows? But uh, uh, United, the, the probably wouldn't be able to say stuff like that. And I can say words like Cochrodontosaurus. So yeah, that is my top pick. The fact that it literally means sharp toothed lizard and is a close cousin in the shark family as well is very interesting despite the fact that it lived 95 million years ago in North Africa, which is pretty much like modern day, modern day Egypt and Tunisia and Morocco, stuff like that. I find it to be absolutely incredible that it could live in an environment like that and have such massive hunting areas to manage to hunt Uranosaurus and even tackle its own, and even manage to fight the Spinosaurus, despite the fact it lost. Eventually, due to the storm and the drought, the Spinosaurus died in the desert, and the Carcharodontosaurus went along with it. So there you have it. There is my top five favourite dinosaurs in 2011's Planet Dinosaur, made by Jellyfish Studios and the BBC. You've been watching this ranking by Freddy Fazbear 12 and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again very shortly.